Hello? Hello? Yeah, Can up? you hear me? Hello? Okay, what is your yeah, name? Dude, how are you? Good. What's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is in Iraq. Okay, and the connection is not very strong. It's coming and going, so... All right, let me just take it out. Maybe I can improve it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Find find the, the magic spot, right? Okay. All right. So, what is it? Yeah, we'll give it a try. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm Michael. Um, I'm from the United right. States. Nice to meet you. Okay. Uh, nice to meet you. <clears throat> All right. So today we're going to use a picture. I'm going to show you a picture and then ask you some questions about it. Okay. But. I need you to choose a number first, so I can know which picture to choose. All right, seven. Seven, okay, let's knock off number seven. There we go. All right, let me find the picture. Give me one second. I'm not oh. good at English, but let me just try. Ah, we don't say I'm not good, we say I'm improving. I'm improving my English. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's right. So this is how it's going to go. I'm going to show you the picture. I'm going to give you a moment to look at it. And then I'm going to switch back around so we'll talk to each other and we'll talk about the picture, okay? All right. We'll give it a try. All right. I'm experimenting too because I haven't done this before. So we'll, we'll learn together. <laughs> we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. All right. Here we go. I'm going to turn the camera around and adjust. So give me just a moment. All right, can you see the picture? Yeah, I see it. Okay, so take a moment, look at it, stick it in your memory, and remember the details. And in just a moment, I'm going to switch back around and we'll talk about it, okay? All right. All right. Okay, are you ready to go? All right, I'm good. All right. So today we also test memory. So can you tell me about the picture? What did you see? Uh, they are taking selfies for themselves. And they are in the sea and swimming, right? They're traveling to a bed. Okay. Yeah. And who are they? They are a couple. Okay. And how yeah, many people? Couple. Two. <laughs> there are two. Two, and two was it a man and a man, woman and a woman, or a man and a woman? No, <laughs> no. I told you it's a couple, and a girl and boy. It's right. So easy. Okay. And what time of day do you think it was? I think it's uh, morning now. <laughs> it is... I don't know, day. I, I know that it's day. Sure. Yeah. Maybe after maybe afternoon or maybe late morning. Afternoon, yeah. Yeah, afternoon. Uh-huh. Between and, af afternoon and evening. You know. Sure. Sure. And the the yeah. sun was still very bright, right? Yeah, and it's sunny. Like weather is sunny. It's right. the day. Right. And where were they sitting? It's near the See, I think sure. they are in, in beach. Right, in the beach, at the beach, right. And yeah. why do you think they were taking a selfie? Oh, he's, he's uh, just hanging the marble, right? And Uh-huh, but why? Picture. Why yeah. are they taking a picture? Uh, they are in the beautiful weather, uh -huh. yeah. Maybe they are in the holiday. Sure. Something like that. Yeah. Maybe maybe they want to have a wonderful memory, so they take a picture oh. together. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. All right. Yeah, right. So now we're going to do the opposite. I'm going to show you the picture again, and I need you to ask me two questions about the picture, okay? Whatever you want. 
All right. All right, so you, you're the teacher now. You ask me two questions. All right, what is that uh, mean? Yeah, and what, what they name? I don't know what, what can I call him? Uh, you mean the people? C, the people. The C. No, the C is just uh, hilly. Ah, the, no. Right, yeah. we can say the, the waves, maybe. Yeah, the waves. Uh huh. Yeah, so, that's one question. Right, and they're sitting in the water, right? So the waves are coming towards them. Yes. Yo. Okay, can you ask me a, se a second question? Yo, where they are sitting? <laughs> ah, where are they sitting? Well, yeah. I think they're sitting on the beach, but they're sitting in the water. So the bottom part of their body is in the water. And so they're wet. Yes. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. All okay. right. All right. I did it. <laughs> yes. Not so difficult, right? You did it. Good job. <laughs> Yo, <Yeah>, bro. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for coming live. And I'm going to move forward, okay? Oh, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> thank All you. Right. Thank you thank so you. much, my teacher. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. Thank All right. Bye bye. Hello. Yes. Hello. I remember you. All right. Yeah. It's my third time to talk to you. Wonderful. Welcome back. Yeah. <laughs> Thank okay. you. It's always a pleasure talking to you. Likewise. Likewise. Can I? Can you choose a number? Uh, number six. Number six. All right. Okay, so we pick X off number six. So today okay. I'm going to, first I'm going to find the picture, number six. All right. So I'm going to show you the picture, and I'm going to give you a moment to look at it. So we're going to test your memory too, and then I will switch back around and I will ask you questions, okay? Okay. All right. Can can I get can, can I get more energy? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Uh, Here is the picture. Yeah. What? What's okay. that? I'm ready. I uh, I think you're full of uh, positive energy. <laughs> I hope so. I have a good time, yeah. and hopefully my students do too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so here great. is your picture. All right. Can you see it? Yes, I can. All right. So take a moment and look around the picture. And all right. Okay. Oh. Are you ready? All yes. right. Here we go. I'm going to switch back around. Okay. So it's in your mind. We're going to test your memory. Um, tell me about the picture. What did you see? Uh, I saw a glass of juice. Okay. And, um, and I... Go ahead. Go ahead. I saw some sand and a uh, beautiful uh, blue sea. And the sky was very clear as well. Mm. Okay. Love yeah, and uh, what else? Uh, the weather uh, looked uh, oh. a little bit hot. Uh huh. Did I show you that uh, That's it. Okay. How about the time of day? I think uh, it was uh, during the mid of the day. Okay. And what kind, what kind of flavor do you think the drink was? What flavor? Uh, I think it's uh, tomato juice. Okay. All right. Maybe. And... I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, we, 
when you say tomato juice, it's red color, right? It was red, a red drink. Uh huh. Kinda red, or okay. uh, as I as I remember, as I remember, it was kinda red. Okay, and who do you think the drink belongs to? Um, it uh, it belongs to a swimmer, someone uh, who is a swimmer at the moment uh, in the sea and. Uh, he will go back to the beach and pick up his uh, juice. Uh-huh. And why do you think he left his juice under the hot sun? Because uh, it was icy, it was uh, full of ice and very cold, so he left that for a little bit just to uh, get a little bit uh, warm to be able to drink it. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to go back to the picture, and I'm going to have you ask me two questions, okay? Okay. All right, whatever you want. Ask me two questions about this picture. Uh, okay. Um, well, what's your favorite kind of juice? Ooh, that's a good question. Hmm. My favorite kind of juice. Wow, that's a difficult question. So <laughs> there's so much delicious juice, but I do like uh, s strawberry. Strawberry juice, it's very good. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Another question, maybe. Uh, can you build a sand castle <laughs> when you are on a beach? Can you build a sand castle? <laughs> Great question. Um, if if I have enough time and if I have the right tools, then yes, I can build maybe a simple sand castle. Mm -hmm. Good, that's right. great. <laughs> okay, uh, do, do, go ahead. Do you prefer swimming or diving? Ooh, um, well, Probably, I guess probably swimming. Well, I don't know. I like to dive too because there's so many beautiful fish, especially in a location like this. It's very tropical. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It looks very attractive as well. But I, since, yeah. since I can't uh, swim, I prefer diving. Ah, uh-huh. Okay. All right. Well... I I think I need to learn a, a word. What is the tool which uh, a tube or what they use to suck the juice? Mm -hmm. It's called a straw. A straw? A straw. S-T-R-A-W. Straw. Yeah. S straw. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Well, thank you for coming live. Well done. Okay. Thank you. It's always a pleasure to speak with you. Ah, likewise, and you're welcome to come back in the future. Okay, thank you, Mr. Michael. All right, bye-bye. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Great. Can I get your, your name? Oh, there's an echo. Ah. Can I get your name and where you're from? Uh, my name is Andri. Uh, Andrew. And where are you from? I'm from Ukraine. Ukraine. Okay. Well, I'm Michael. I'm from the America, but now I'm in Indonesia. So, hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Have you heard so, about Ukraine? I'm sorry? Have you heard about Ukraine? Yes. Yes. And uh, it's right next to Russia. And I'm pretty sure you you guys speak Russian Russian as well, so I'll say Stravstoitsa uh, and Kak Uh huh. So can you choose a number? Uh, number two. Number two. All right. All right. So I'm going to put an X at number two. So I'm going to show you a picture. Let me get it here. All right. Okay. So I'm going to show you a picture, give you a moment to look at it, 
and then I will turn it back around and I'll, we'll talk about it, okay? Okay. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Say, yes, I'm so ready. All right. <laughs> Here we go. All right. So take a moment and look at the picture. Okay. All right. Look at it. Look around. Look at the details, the background. And. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, ready for what? Ah, I'm going to turn back around and ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. All right, let's do it. Okay, can you tell me what you saw in the picture? I saw a man sitting in one of the two chairs, and he was holding uh, a tablet or maybe a cup, uh, notebook in his hands. Okay, and can you tell me about the location? Um, I guess he was sitting uh, at the seaside beach, maybe, because I saw some uh, palms. I don't know, is it right? Palms, like tree. Palm trees, and, yes. Uh, palm trees uh, in the background. Okay, and how old do you think the man is? Uh, I think he's under 30. Under 30? He's middle-aged. Middle-aged, uh-huh. And do, do you remember what color shirt he was wearing? Uh, like uh, gray. Maybe gray. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> right. And uh, do you... What country do you think he's from? Uh, he's a bit tanned. So I think he's like from Georgia, maybe, or okay, Italy, okay, maybe. All right. And what time of day do you think the picture was taken? Uh, what time it was taken? Uh, what time of day? Uh, about three p.m. Okay. So sometime in the afternoon. Yes. Yes. All right. And what do, what do you think he's doing on his tablet? I have no idea, but what what are some possibilities? Maybe he had even a pen in his another hand and he was drawing. Sure. Okay. Maybe or just reading a book to relax. Uh-huh. And there are thousands of possibilities, right? There's yes, so many apps. Uh-huh. Okay. So now I'm going to go back around. I'm going to show you the picture. And you get to be the teacher and ask me two questions, okay? Anything you want. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Here we go. All right. Let me get it to focus. One sec. There we go. All uh, right. So ask me two questions. Uh, why do you think uh, he is smiling? Is he watching some kind of funny movies or what? Ooh, good question. Let's see. I'm going to guess that he is he's chatting with his girlfriend who was unable to come on the trip. So she might be back in another city or maybe a different country. And he's like, oh, baby, I, I miss you so much. And uh, she tells him a joke and he thinks it's really funny. Okay. All right. Question number two. If uh, I I think that uh, this photo was taken uh, near beach, so why uh, he's uh, wearing like kind of not really loose clothes. Uh-huh. So why isn't he wearing clothing for the beach? Yes, yes. Ah, maybe. Maybe he's an employee and he works there and he's on his break. Is it possible? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see. In the comments, someone says, uh, 
How can I explain about the design of the chair? Hmm. Um, what do you like think? A hedge. What's that? Like a hedge. Like a hedge. Ah, it's kind of like it's braided, where the strips are put in between each other. So it's kind. It's probably an outdoor chair, so it's okay if the rain gets on it. Um, so maybe like a braided deck chair, something like that. Right. Uh huh. Okay. And what color is his shirt? <laughs> something between white and gray. Yes. So you were correct. Well done. And like you said in the background, there are palm trees, and it must be during the day. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna switch back around. Okay. Well done. May I take a screen with you? A screenshot, sure. <laughs> I, maybe I'll smile. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Thank you for coming live, and you're welcome to come back in the future. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Das uh, Vidanya. Das <laughs> Vidanya. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hello. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Okay. And what is your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Natalia. I'm from Ukraine. Ah, another Ukraine. Welcome. All right. My name is Michael. I'm from America, but right now I'm in Indonesia. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right. Are you ready to choose a number? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Uh, number three. Number three. All right. So there it is. Okay. So, uh, did you watch the last one? You kind of know what we're going to do, right? Yeah. All right. Let me get the picture ready. All right. Okay. Here we go. Are you ready? Yes. Can we get more enthusiasm? Yes. <laughs> okay. Here's your picture. All right. Oh. Can can you wow. see it clearly? Yes, I can see. Okay. Oh, very interesting pictures. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Take a moment and look at the picture. Yes. And in a moment we'll talk about it, okay? Mm-hmm. Do 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 maybe I'll give you music. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Okay. Can you tell me what you saw in the picture? Uh, I um, saw a train with a lot of people. Uh, people over cover the train. Uh, I think it is in India, maybe. Um, it and uh, it's so interesting pictures. Mm -hmm. I think uh, people uh, don't uh, feel comfortable. <laughs> uh huh. It's uh, um, one of the kind of um, uh, travel uh -huh. Um, uh -huh. somewhere. Okay. Okay. All right. Yes. Is it, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Okay. Okay. So we'll we'll pretend that I couldn't see the picture. So you need to explain it to me so I can understand. Okay. And when you say it was a crowded train or it was a full train. Um, is it like all the seats are taken or how would you describe how full the train is? Uh, uh, I think uh, um, it's a crowded uh, train and um, I, sorry, I don't understand uh, what do you... Sure, it's okay. How, how do we describe... Uh, I'm trying to, <laughs> how do we describe, because there was a train, right? And then there was so many, it, it was, how do we describe the number of people on the train? How would you describe oh, that? I think it's uh, um, uh, 1,000 people maybe <laughs> in uh -huh. train. Sure. Yes. And you could maybe say that, the train was complete, almost completely covered with people, because <laughs> they were on the they were on the outside, they were on the inside, they were on the top, they were on the front, and they were everywhere. 
Mm. Right. Yes. And do you think was this train moving fast or slow? Oh, I think uh, train uh, uh, will uh, uh, move very slowly because it's so why uh, a big uh, why big uh, weight. Right. Yes. And what would happen if suddenly the train decided to go really fast? Uh I think it will, it will be terrible. <laughs> sure. We could say it would be a disaster, a tragedy. Disaster, yes. And, and it's danger for all people life. Yes. So what would happen to the people if the train was moving fast? How can we describe that? Uh I think people can um uh drop uh, um uh and uh, it uh, um impact in your uh, life uh, right i think yes sure we can we can say that people would fall fall off uh oh the connection uh huh yes Oh, yeah. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. you could you could say fall. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Uh, yes, people can fall. It's so dangerous. Sure, sure. Okay, so I'm going to show you the picture again, and now you get to be the teacher, and you can ask me two questions. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Here we go. All right, let me get it to focus. All right, there you go. Ask me two questions. Two questions. Um, um, what do you think? Um, uh, uh, how governments uh, to think about it in this country? And can, can you repeat the first part again? Um, what do you think? Um, uh, what uh, governments in this country uh, think about uh, this? Ah, so what does the government think about all of the people crowding onto the train? Yes. Well, I, <laughs> I suppose the government probably doesn't like it. But there's probably only so many trains, and if they don't take this train, they'll probably be, have to wait maybe for a couple of days or something. I don't know. So maybe the government just stays out of their way. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you want to uh, be there? Oh boy. And do I want? Do I want to ride on this train? Yes. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe one time so I can experience it and take lots of video pictures and selfies. <laughs> maybe, but I don't know. It's kind of dangerous. How about you? Oh, no. Thank you. <laughs> it's so dangerous. <coughs> yes, a bit dangerous. Okay, let me switch back around. Okay, well done. Um, I guess if if you had to give that picture a title, a name, what name would you give that picture? Oh, <coughs> crowded place, crowded train, maybe. Sure, maybe like incredibly overcrowded train, but exciting. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, well, thank you for coming live. Thank you. And for... Thank yes, you very you... much. <laughs> thank sure. you for you... this opportunity. All right. And uh, I'll say uh, spasiba, right? Thank you. Spasiba. Yeah. Uh, and... Spasiba, it, it's in Russian. Dziakuyu in Ukraine. Can you say it one more time? One more time, Ukraine? Dziakuyu. 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 Is that right? Yes. All right. Drag, drag to you. Thank you.
Okay. All right. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Dean? All right. Hello? How are you? How are you, mate? How are Wonderful. you? I'm fine, thanks. What about you? I am fabulous. Thank you for asking. After more struggle, I was able to connect with you. I don't know <laughs> why. Let, let, let's uh, talk about something. I'm living in Iran. Okay. And, uh, you know, uh, we are politically are hostile, you know, but I think in the, our human, our, you know, strong relation with each other, especially there are many people of Iranian are living with uh, American. Uh, we name it Tehran Angeles instead of Los, Los Angeles. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, let me talk about something. Iranian people are, uh, you know, restrained by the government. And they are filtered, you know. They need to use VPN in order to connect. We can't see you, but uh, I can remember uh, one time you wanted to connect me and it dropped. I, I, and I see one of the other people experience something like that, you know. And after that, I, uh, ra I uh, launched my VPN application in order to connect with you. And I see it's working, you know. And I advise okay. the other guys here to use the VPN in order to connect with you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm so, ready. I'm uh, ready for uh, your, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, are you ready to choose a number? Uh, uh, if it's, uh, can you do me a favor? Choose one of them by you. You select one of them. Oh, you want me to choose for you? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Surely. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. How about uh, number five? Is that all right? It's okay for me. Yeah, go for right. it. Okay. Let me get the picture. Oh, one moment. All right. Okay. Number five. Let me find it here. All right. Okay. So I'm going to show you a picture and give you a moment to look at it, and then we'll come back and we'll talk yeah, about I, it, okay? I'm Okay, okay, I'm ready for. Let's do it. All right. Oh, it's an, you know, surreal picture, maybe. <laughs> Not real. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Are, you, are you ready or do you mm. want to look? Are you ready? You know, yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'm going to switch back around. Okay. Can okay. you tell me about what you saw in the picture? Uh, and the first glance, you can see a, a, some a, a hand which holds the globe, globe, or maybe the Earth. And usually, it means that we need to protect our Earth, maybe because of uh, you know uh, we can see many uh, political, many uh, environment, environmental activities that they, many people launch a campaign in order to protect the or Earth. Uh, about, the, for example, littering the places, or maybe use the, uh, you know, uh, avoid to use the uh, the car which is pro uh, produced too much emission or fumes can easily pollute our area. And I think we need to be more sustainable and be more responsible about protecting our uh, globe. It's just one thing we all of ha all of us have. You know, if we lost it. Uh, we we maybe die, you know. It's it's uh, we need to more be more, uh, you know, thoughtful and considerate about what we are doing the in early in early day, you know, in early day in you know in every action we do uh, uh, outside of house or maybe for example, um, you know, we try to use the or private car without any consideration about the consequences it has. Or maybe, for example, uh, uh, lit up the fires in the jungles without any consideration about that. We can see many headlines about uh, many jungles are, uh, you know, are um, firing, are maybe turning to ash in the blaze. You know, if we are should be responsible about or action or action or activity. You know. Okay. And so, how do you how do you think they made this picture? Uh, you, I think uh, it's it. it uh, you, do you mean that uh, in what way somebody creates such picture? Correct. 
Yeah, it's uh, there are a myriad uh, application that you can use them in order to create such picture. For example, use Adobe Photoshop is the most formula, f familiar than familiar familiar of them, uh, or maybe it's uh, popular of them. And uh, you know there are many uh, kinds of application you can use uh, to create to uh, you know to manif to produce such picture. And sure. uh, uh, you know. That's it. I I have no any idea about that because it's so sure. simple. And it's yeah. it's common for a picture like this to say we hold the world in our hands, mm. right? And that, that can have a deeper meaning, or it can just have a, a literal meaning that <laughs> our decisions uh, maybe we're holding a globe in the in the classroom or something like that. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the uh, to, the picture back on. And you ask me two questions about the picture, okay? Mm, okay. All right. Here we go. All right. Ask me two questions. No. Uh, okay. It what in what way we can to protect our globe from uh, for deterioration or exacerbation or maybe degeneration? I mean. Well, that answer could take hours and hours. <laughs> but I will, I, will to, I will try to give a short answer is to Ooh. think, try to behave in a way where we act more responsibly. And the idea Ooh. is to leave it, is to leave it better in a better condition than when we arrived. If we had that mindset, Ooh then we would probably not waste as much. We wouldn't throw away as much garbage or whatever we did produce, mm -hmm. we would find a way to recycle it or uh, get mm -hmm. rid of it in a, in a healthy way. No, right. yes, a great and fully uh, answer question. Uh, it's wonderful. And the second one is about, do you think um, it's a, a child hand? And if what, uh, what is that, uh, what that, uh, what is it mean? It's meaning, you know. Uh, what do you want to say us? Uh, yeah, or maybe it's a, a hand of a, 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 a major man, a major, you know, a fully grown people, you know. And uh, I can uh, distinguish that. I want to. Uh, I want to ask you, uh, what is your perception about that? What do you think about who is responsible for more? about uh, protecting the globe from, uh, you know, any um, hostile activity or maybe, you know, a nasty situation. Who is more responsible, governments or individuals? Well, I would say that governments are actually just people, right? Because mm. governments are, are made up of people and they you know they give they give power to themselves because of their organization so i would say the answer is the people because the go government really is just a concept it's an idea mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it's made up of people because if there are no people then there is no government so i would say it's re the responsibility of the people what uh, we can uh, we, uh, we can uh, it, it, we can't concede that the people try to, uh, you know, live in the comfortable way. You know, they they should be, uh, you know, limited or restrained by the governmental, uh, you know, policy. You know, they should uh, sometimes impose the punishment or fines in order to control control the people, or maybe forcibly provoke them to be more, uh, you know, sustainable. You know, try to maintain by the force. Sometimes it. It, uh, I, want, I don't want to judge about all the people in the globe, but, but uh, mainly people don't, uh, you know, observe about, uh, don't, uh, they are not uh, so observant about what, you, what they are doing, you know. I, I, I don't know, you understand me or not, because full yes. of mistakes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I understood, and that <clears throat> I understand, and that's why I said at the very beginning that this conversation could go for hours. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. But unfortunately, it's such a yeah. unfortunately, I have to move on because there are more people. <laughs> but thank yeah, you for coming. So, thanks so much. Yeah. Thanks so much for having me.
Okay. All right. Okay. Let's have see. a wonderful day. Okay. <laughs> Hi. You too. Okay. Right. Goodbye. Bye bye. Hello, sir. Uh -huh. How are, How are you? you? Nice to meet you again. Yes, likewise. I'm teacher. I'm fine. I'm doing phenomenal. How about you? I'm all thumbs up. I'm doing very well. Thank you. Yeah, great to hear that. All right. Pick a number, sir. Yeah, of course. Let's be number one. <laughs> Woo! Number one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I assume you've been watching, so do you understand what we're going to do? Yes, sir, I was born ready. Oh, <laughs> yes, I love the positive energy. All right, let me yeah. find the picture. Wow. Here we go. All right. All right. Take a look, and then we will talk about it. Here it comes. Wow, what a picture there. Yes, what a wonderful picture. Yeah, All is right. it wonderful? <laughs> wonderful and dangerous. <laughs> yes, depends on your point of view, I suppose. Are you, yeah. are you ready? Yeah, uh, yeah. All right, here we go. All right, can you please describe to me what you saw in that wonderful, wonderfully dangerous picture? Yeah, wonderfully dangerous. I can assume they are kind of tourists. So in the picture, there were two tourists. One of them uh, was holding a long snake. And uh, it seems that she is used to such kind of things. So she is confident. She isn't scared. And I think the, the man behind her is a bit afraid. So she is more confident than him. Uh -huh. And about the snake, uh, uh, I assume that he is enjoying the experience. Maybe he is meeting these nice new people, new tourists. So <laughs> he has also a new experience. Uh huh. And when you say holding the snake, could you, uh, like, what end of the snake is she holding? I think she's holding. It's all tail. How can we say? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, for, for another animals, we can say it's holding his tail, but about uh, a snake, maybe I can say she's holding the back of the snake? Um, you could say she's, she's, got the, she's holding the snake by the tail, or by she's, the tail, grab, but, she's uh, grabbing but, onto the, the tail of the snake, sure. But the, the, the point is the snake, it's, uh, you know, it's just a kind of, uh, of a tail, all of, <laughs> you know? <laughs> The, does it have, it's like <laughs> does it the, have a the, tail? The, yeah, maybe. Whole, yes, not from the head, from the tail. Okay, I or, agree. Uh, how about this? If right, because the snake is like one long tail, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my point. Yeah, absolutely. So maybe, yeah. maybe you could say she's holding from the, the back. Opposite, maybe? Right, she's ho holding the the rear end of the snake. Yeah, but, wow, good one. The rear end of the snake, not the head. Yeah, <laughs> and he's wide because, you know, uh, and the front is, uh, you know, the poison maybe. So she is, uh, she, maybe she is expert or trained and she knows how to handle it. Or maybe she's just stupid. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think so. If you're stupid, maybe you can catch it from, you know. <laughs> From the, the the dangerous part, maybe. Right. Okay. And uh, what do you think is the location? Um, I think kind of a desert. Okay. So and because, would... because, because snakes are usually found in such environment. Okay. Uh, but I, I don't think it's a kind of zoo or a safari trip. I think it's a desert or something like this. Okay. And if you had no choice and you had to switch places with either the man or the woman, who would you choose? I would choose the man, of course, because I am a man. And I... <laughs> no, I, I would definitely choose the man, yes. I, 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 I have never uh, touched a snake in my life. Okay. But maybe it's, it's uh, yeah, you can take risks sometimes, maybe. Why not? Mm-hmm.
Okay, so I'm going to show you the picture again, and you ask me two questions, okay? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. All right. What is your first question? Yeah, my first question is, um, let's say, is it summer or winter? It's well, an easy one. Yeah? I'm going to assume it's summer, but I yeah, also I would, I, I would also say that they're probably in a part of a world that maybe only has maybe two seasons, maybe wet and dry. Yeah, maybe it is tropical. You know, when I was in Malaysia, you know, uh, they have just one season. So no winter, no summer. It's just one tropical uh, season. Yeah, uh -huh. I agree with you. I, I think Indonesia also, I think it has one or two, two, two seasons. Right. It, they consider it the wet season and the dry season. Uh, wet and dry. In Malaysia, they told me they just have one season, the rainy season or tropical season. So they sure. don't have the uh, four kinds of seasons. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Question. Question number two. Question number two. Um, yeah, I have to think about it. Do you think it is a poisonous snake or uh, not poisonous? Because there are many kinds of snakes in the world. So what do you think? I think... I think I would, I don't, I don't know. I'm going to guess I would treat it as a poisonous snake because I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me too, me too. You have to be careful with snakes, but there are a lot of them. When I was in Egypt, uh, we have kind of dancers and they used to, you know, to dance with snakes around their necks and around their heads. So uh, at the beginning, uh, you know, I was shocked because how come? But then later on, I discovered there are a lot of snakes. They are not harmful. And I, I think there are a lot of people have snakes as bets in homes. But I wouldn't dare, of course, for me. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah, me neither. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, well done. And, Thank uh, you. Sir. All right. Well, I'm going to move forward. And yes, you're welcome. Yes, it's always pleasure. It's always nice to talk to you. And let's be in touch. Thank you, sir, for uh, this opportunity. Good luck. All right. Thank you. Have, Thank have you. a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Likewise. Thank you.